This is Susan Bassey, and under the law, attorneys are supposed to be treated just like everybody else. And yet we see over and over again that attorneys get favorable treatment. They are treated better by judges in courtrooms who listen to attorneys over people who have to represent themselves. And we see courthouses being built where attorneys get special rooms, favorable treatment, and lines that they don't have to wait in with other self-represented litigants. And these are all implicit bias, bias against people who have to represent themselves in court, usually because they do not have the money to pay an attorney. An attorney can cost anywhere from five to $10,000 as a retainer in a criminal case. And in family law, attorney retainers can run upwards of fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. Like office and clerk and stuff. Because on the other side it's just for self representation. I know, but it still doesn't make sense why they would get their own clerk and be able to Because there's different types of procedures and processing than for those self represent people. What what's different about it? Just uh, e filing. This is e filing. Right here, and the other side is paper filing. E-filing meaning like all online? Yeah. So why would they need their own office if they can e-file? Because we file as parties and other documents. Paper. Yeah. So it's not just e-filing. No, it's a different types of things. How do you have a question? I can help you with it. I'm just. It just seems odd to me. I've been to like in Massachusetts, attorneys don't get their own separate clerk. So it was just odd that I'd walk into a courthouse in there where there would be two different, you know, departments, one for people that can't afford an attorney and I guess this one for the lawyers. Yeah, well, some people... This is just for the attorney to file that yeah. document. Um, There's different procedures for things. It's not that we don't provide an attorney. We okay. Right. But this this would give the appearance that the court isn't neutral because the lawyers get their own office and the pro pers that don't have an attorney have to go over there and wait in line. No, it's, it's not really. It's different. I'm, ju I'm just, it's my opinion. That's just, okay. I'm just stating that it does give the appearance. It's that way at every courthouse. No, I'm from Massachusetts and they don't do this. Okay. I've never seen this in my life, actually. Most of us understand the fundamental right to be represented by an attorney. In criminal court, if you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you, and taxpayers pay for public defenders and alternate defenders offices. But in family court, that same rule does not apply. And while it is the public policy to assure equal representation for the parties in a divorce or custody case, in California, 90% of people have to represent themselves. They're otherwise known as pro per litigants. They have to learn the language of the law, words that are very foreign. They have to understand how to file court pleadings and how to act in court. Too often, courts claim to treat pro per litigants equally to attorneys, and yet they build courthouses with special rooms where attorneys get their own computers, their own court clerks, and they don't have to wait in line. Courts do not treat pro pers equally, and with 90% of people being self-represented, there is a gross appearance of unfairness. And we plan to work with you over the next several weeks to bring you information that hopefully will help all the pro-pers and people dealing with unethical attorneys.